this is Survivalist Kobe. Um, this is my first video, but when I dropped over at vacation, I found a helpful little tool that I really like. It's a 10-in-1 little compact fold-out tool. And what this is really good for is it can be if you're suburban, you have stuff like that. If you're in a survival situation, have really good stuff. So, just to start this off, right here I have a little flashlight. Really good, just a little LED. Nothing really special if you need to, if you need to do that type of thing. I have a hydrometer right here which tests the humidity. Have uh, a Celsius and a Fahrenheit, uh, fair thermometer. thermometer, thank you. And so this is really good. For example, I can tell that it's working in here right now because in my house it is just a little bit above 80 degrees. Check the thermostat. That is exactly what it's at. Uh, hydrometer. I have no way to test the humidity, but right now it says 40 degrees. Percent. Yeah, 40 percent. In here I have a useful little bitty thing, a compass. Now, I focus. This is more. This is a really Wait, good here. tool for you anything to focus. in a survival situation. Stop. Right here, I have a magnifying glass. Really, really good. Right here, I have a balancer. Balance anything out. Probably can't see right really well. And right here, I have a really glary mirror. Can be used to signal a helicopter. Whatever. I really like that. And so then, over here from that, which I forgot to put the magnifying glass back in, we have, here, zoom out a little, we have this useful thing. And what this does is, uh, right here, I have half a flint and steel set, if I can get it out because my massive strength, there we go. Steel. This is doesn't look like much until you flip it out. I have another flint. I have another flint and steel set that I like a lot more. And so then here I get this golden rod again. Wait, wait you can try, you can focus it by putting your hand in front. Golden rod. Yeah. And then we have the, the steel. Okay. Hand. And now I will pop out the flint of the situation, which you freaking dropped. Nice little flint, and if what you do to lock this steel in place, you put the golden rod in here, lock it in, and then how you're supposed to hold this is like this, and you're supposed to act like you're cutting bread. It's so like this. It's really hard. It's a fairy. It's really small. This was one of something I was really excited about until I figured. Okay, this is a bigger flint and steel set. This is way better. Um, basically, this is what it's supposed to do. Oh my god! Oh, just grab my knife. This is what it's supposed to do. supposed to do. Oh, but also we we have another fire starting method which we will actually make for you guys. Show you guys how to make one. That is it's really an emergency. It's a very small emergency wick which we actually have right here. Right we there. will show you how to make one. It's really useful. It's very much just household so items. Now we just pop this back in and now for the last and final thing in your rescue. And this is probably the most important, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't think we should show it because it's going to make the le the volume all jump This up. is a whistle, and it doesn't look that big or powerful, but it's really loud. Ow, my ears. And so, Ouch. if you want to know where to get this, believe it or not, I found this at Rainforest Cafe, which is actually in most states. I can find one. Uh, they're more, they're usually at vacation spots, and so overall, this is really good. Eleven bucks. It's only eleven dollars. You can't beat it. Um, 
So this is Survivalist Covey going goodbye.